the time, Godzilla returned to the sea at the dear cost of Professor Sarazawa's life. So many paid the ultimate sacrifice back then. But humanity gained two valuable things as a result. The first is G-Energy. As a result of our studies, we discovered the very essence of Godzilla's life force and turned it into a powerful fuel for humanity. Now, without G-Energy, our civilization would fall apart within a very short span of time. The second is G-Force. If the worst should happen and Godzilla or anything of equal threat to mankind should ever appear again, G-Force is there to remove the threat. And that's where you come in, ma'am. As far as the public knows, G-Force is merely a response unit created to handle disasters. If you learn anything, you'll contact me immediately, correct? So now, after 60 years, there are signs that Godzilla has returned. I'll give you the short explanation, ma'am. Should Godzilla ever appear again, we will need you and the cabinet to set the disaster level. We at G-Force will then respond accordingly. So I'm ultimately responsible for our strategy to Godzilla. I will not hesitate to act, soldier, although it may very well cost me my political career. A strong signal. It's heading to the surface. Is this Godzilla? We cannot determine whether it is the same Godzilla as in our records. What does Godzilla want? Oh no. Not the generator! It must be the G-Energy generator. It's the only explanation as to why he chose to come ashore in this area. We discovered G-Energy because of him, but it turns out the stuff is his favorite meal. Maybe Godzilla holds a grudge. After all, the reason he was born in the first place was... Uh, uh, forgive me. I spoke out of turn. It's fine. We need to consider all lines of thinking here. We are going to disaster level one. We must protect our country. Moving to commence level one response, ma'am.
generator's power levels have hit zero. Godzilla is far larger than when he came ashore, ma'am. It must be the purity of the matter he absorbed. It's accelerating his growth. You were right. He came ashore in search of food. Incredible. But I doubt it'll be enough to satisfy 60 years of hibernation. I wish we knew what Godzilla was thinking right now. Do you think he will search for another food source? And I have to worry about the people's doubts. I hope they don't call for my head. There's no one else in politics who's equipped to handle such difficult decisions. Both areas are potential landing points. Our target is a fellow inhabitant of Earth. Compassion is key. entered the area. He's going after the generator. Give him some food to chow on and he'll leave us be. He's no different from the family dog. The data collection squad is requesting orders. Godzilla has reached zone two. Sometimes they can't help biting the hand that feeds them.
We're calculating where Godzilla will most likely hit the shore. Godzilla is on the move. He's taken the exact route we predicted. Godzilla thinks of us as fellow Earthlings. I know he means us no harm. point. survived. I'm bitterly disappointed we couldn't get through to him. Both areas are potential landing points. 